here is the IC station product you can see this is the IC station website uh, for this particular product and this is uh, 18650 charger module uh, this model number is TEC uh, 4056 you can see and this is a 4.2 volt uh, lithium battery charging charger charging module and price regular price is three dollars ninety nine cents whereas they are giving in discount and that is two dollar and ninety nine cents at the moment this is really nice module I will uh, discuss all the details about this uh, you can see for this price it's really nice and uh, here is a little detail they have given uh, this all detail and a little more detail I will incorporate in the blog also so here it is this, is this product from the IC station I'm going to demonstrate in front of you uh, this is the charger this is for uh, you know the typical uh, lithium ion cell or lithium ion battery uh, which is uh, 16650 something like that uh, which is a very common battery you know uh, so these common batteries are normally used in laptop application this one is and uh, this we will be charging using this they are giving actually different numbers here is some different uh, some other number has been written on uh, which I can see on this battery but this uh, battery rating is uh, something uh, 3.7 volt typical and uh, the current rating is of course uh, some ampere hour uh, say 2 ampere hour something like that is this uh, they are writing very huge number sometimes 8 ampere hour something like that but I don't know whether, whether this is correct or not I don't know okay uh, so this battery charger we will I will show in front of you you can see uh, what is written on is uh, TP4056 this is the IC number actually the controller which is over here you can see this controller is TP464056 this one is and then 4.2 volt will come over here on these battery terminals you can see these are the two battery terminals over here this one is the positive this one is the negative so this will charge the battery and here is the micro usb which is a standard mobile phone size micro usb and you can use a phone a regular phone charger for this purpose to charge this battery uh, with a safety and the safety feature is actually inside and here are two leds which is green and red i can see uh, these leds are showing the status of the charge uh, the green LED means this is charged totally charged the battery is charged then the green LED will come while it is charging then you will be able to get a red LED over here and also if there is uh, no battery in so you will get a green LED and it sometimes it will switch to red and then again to green something like that and this is programmable you can see 0.5 ampere and 0.3 ampere so you can select either current 0.3 ampere charging or 0.5 ampere charging and the IC itself is capable of providing uh, 1 ampere charging 1 ampere constant charging it can provide constant current charging uh, so this one is and it's a beautiful charger uh, 18650 actually what I told 16 this is not 16 this is 18650 this is the number for the battery uh, which I just showed it to you something like this this can come in any color blue green or anything or pink which is in my hand or red something like that uh, so this is and uh, a little demonstration uh, while you can see at the IC uh, you can say see very few components outside this IC so this is a beautiful uh, package um, IC which is providing a complete charging solution uh, for such small applications uh, so this one is and now I, uh, I will explain a little bit about its features on the data sheet this is actually Chinese product as you can see this one is uh, top power um, ASIC corp something like that and then Jeng something like that is the name I don't know Chinese okay so this one is and uh, really beautiful component uh, here you can see this 
IC block. So the one is the temp one, temperature one, then prog programming two, and then ground. This is pin number three. Then here is the VCC number four pin. Then five, five pin number five is bat for battery. Uh, battery is you know this one, this one, this pin, and then uh, six is the standby and seven is the charge pin and then eight is the chip enable ce uh, so these are then here you can see the package the package is uh, of course it is uh, something uh, sop8 as they have written sop8 this is the package and the package downside underneath the ic is the metal tab actually this ic is containing the control circuitry as well as the mosfet inside mm, so the mosfet is giving heat uh, while it is charging so this heat is transferred to this metal tab underneath the ic mm, here downside this under the ic there will be a tab uh, which must be soldered to the plane negative ground plane or any plane on the PCB normally the ground plane you know here they have provided something like that uh, so this will be and uh, then um, this this plane negative plane which is a bigger plane over here you can see uh, this will be sufficient to extract the heat or radiate the heat from this IC uh, so this is and here is the charging characteristic you can see uh, the charging current is reaching somewhere to 100 million thousand milliampere which is one ampere of course over here and then um, one ampere it is constant and then it is dropping down while it is charged to some uh, 4.2 volt here is the voltage they have given and here is the time they have given in hours 1.75 hour hour they have given a complete charge something like that and um, as I explained here is the current here is the voltage and here is the time so this is the uh, characteristic curve for this particular IC uh, so this one is and then here they are providing some details uh, which is point uh, minus point three point zero three volt to eight volt this I don't know why this minus is uh, but anyhow we will go to the other page uh, which is giving a little more good detail which is uh, input supply input supply voltage which is typically 5 volt and minimum it is 4 volt whereas it can exceed up to 8 volt and the units are of course voltage as you know and uh, then input supply current they are giving in micro ampere I don't know why the micro ampere is is it should be in amperes but I don't know why it is okay this can be the standby current if it is uh, there's a sleeping mode in this IC also mm, well the chip is going in the sleeping mode while the, the cell is charged or battery is charged then it is taking only two micro amperes something like that and the LED of course is taking a little current uh, to show the status and here is the formula they have given uh, I bet is equal to V prog divided by R prog multiplied by 1200 and this V prog is one volt they, they are considering something like that and this is a little bit detail they have given uh, there is a temperature uh, sensing also in this IC uh, which is here this one uh, this pin number one but if temperature is not required for the temperature you will provide a sensor uh, which is thermistor of course um, and if you are not uh, needing this feature by the temperature I mean if the temperature is very very much low or very very much high for the battery due to any reason due to charging or due to um, some uh, uh, malfunction so then the charge the charging will be suspended by this IC this is internal internally programmed something like that uh, so it is uh, so sometimes it is not needed and uh, sometimes it is needed so then if it is not needed the simply that pin number one will be grounded which is in this circuit it is like that okay here is the typical circuit they have provided and this circuit is giving the detail about uh, this IC uh, which is of course this charger now we are going to put it in the circuit uh, so, so supplying power to the circuit from my laptop charger you can see the green LED had been come and it will there is no battery actually so it will switch sometime to the red and then to the green again something like that after two three seconds it is doing like that maybe you will be noticing if it is captured by camera actually over here it is sunlight where I'm shooting this video but hope you will get the idea and then the battery we will put in and first I will show you the status of the battery we will check the voltage 
uh, on the terminal of the battery of course we cannot check the current because uh, this is not recommended to check the current for a battery using a multimeter something like that so this probe we will shift to the voltage uh, and now I'm going to show you the the voltage on this battery so you can see this is up to 4 volt it is uh, we will put it and it will be charged and it will take a charge for a little time and then it will be reached to charge status here you can see now I put the battery and you can see the red indication had been come so it means that it is charging now I will show you the charging current using my other multimeter on the ampere range I will show you uh, how much ampere it is drying I mean to see the battery is drying how much amperes from this charger while it is charging so to check the charging current what we will do is we will remove the battery uh, from the charger one uh, point of the battery the positive of course I'm pro re removing from and then putting my multimeter in series and putting it on the 10 ampere range and of course the probe is on DC amperes so here we will check the current now as you can see this item is taking something this battery is taking something uh, point, point 0.3 ampere so 0.3 ampere is the charging current at the moment for this battery because this battery is something close to charge status so that's why it is consuming such a current but I am sure that if we will put an empty battery which is not available in my hand now uh, it will take more current say something like uh, 0.5 or 0.7 ampere something like that 700 milliampere I mean so this is 300 milliampere at the moment so this thing is doing like that now I will suspend this video over here and will show you while it will be charged the uh, indication will go to green it will take a little time and of course that time we will check the voltage the voltage is now 4.15 and 4.16 it is going like that on this meter you can see and uh, in a while it will be reached to 4.2 and then the charging will be suspended and the red LED will be changed to will be shifted to green now after a certain while this LED had been changed from red to green as you can see so the battery had been charged now now I am going to make measurement again the voltage measurement we should do first so I am going to make the voltage measurement you can see 4.18 volt so some 4.2 volt it is uh, suspending the charging and changing the state from the for the LED from green to red so this is from red to green sorry um, now I'm going to uh, make the measurement of the current uh, for the battery as there is trickle charging as well in this design so just we will put our probes in and we'll look at the ampere rating reading which is zero of course or some small reading I can see uh, so this is this is say a trickle charge which you can see a very very much small amount of current which is flowing through this battery mm, so this one is and hope uh, this will stay charged uh, till it is in the charger uh, so hope you like this video and this review uh, for this charger uh, these uh, IC station products are very nice cheap and they are working they are nice and they are uh, low cost as well uh, so hopefully you liked this video if you liked it give a big thumbs up as well as uh, you must subscribe my channel so click on the this bell icon so that you will get the notification for each upload